Sebastian. All right. <laughs> Good job. So, Chris, uh, you, you shared with me before um, that God did uh, just something uh, miraculous in your life uh, concerning Gideon. Uh, would you just share with us uh, what God has done in your life? Yeah, um, Gideon's been a uh, process, uh, a long time in the making. Um, Heather and I, when we first got married, thought that uh, we could wait and have kids and uh, live life as a couple and enjoy each other before having them. And uh, when we finally decided to have children, um, it didn't quite uh, turn out as easy as we thought it'd be. Uh, it became a long process. It was about a year before uh, we got pregnant the first time. And uh, Heather and I were very excited uh, after that. It was a very um, joyous moment for us. Uh, we decided to share with our family, and uh, everybody was happy for us. And uh, two days later, uh, after we found out and told everybody, uh, we lost our first baby. And uh, that was the most pain that uh, either Heather or I have ever felt before. And, um, So we tried again, and we got pregnant again, and we lost another baby. And we tried again, and we got pregnant again, and we lost another. Um, so almost three years into the process, uh, I believe uh, that the Lord came to me in a dream before I woke up, uh, whatever anybody wants to think about that. but. Uh, I believe he came to me and told me that uh, I was going to have a son and he was going to name him Gideon. And we know that Gideon means mighty warrior and his middle name is Michael which means of God so his name is mighty warrior of God. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> He so, likes his name. He does. <laughs> he is a mighty warrior. So, uh, I didn't tell Heather about my dream, and she's asked me what I thought we were going to have, if we were going to have a boy or a girl, and I didn't want to say because I was confident it was from God, but I wasn't positive, and I didn't want to make any assumptions and make a fool of myself. Um, but so we prayed and prayed and had the, the church continually pray for us for Gideon. And before we knew he was Gideon, uh, and about eight weeks into our pregnancy, uh, things uh, seemed to change with the pregnancy. And so we went to the elders and had the elders uh, pray over us. And I know that Heather felt a great sense of peace uh, after the elders prayed, prayed with us and uh, over us. And uh, I truthfully can't even remember what I felt at that time, but uh, I know it, it helped Heather. And we had our uh, first ultrasound appointment, which we never made it to uh, with any of ours. Our babies had all passed uh, before we got to see a heartbeat, and we were so excited about seeing the first heartbeat. And the night before, the night before our <laughs> ultrasound, <laughs> it looked like we lost the baby. Yeah. And everything presented the same as our other three babies that we lost, and we were positive uh, that we had lost this baby and we were so broken we didn't know what to do so we decided to pray to God and we knew everything's in his hands he gives and takes away which he's shown us and uh, as we were praying I just thought of Jesus and Lazarus and how he's felt sadness and sorrow and loss and that for his own desire to to have somebody back that he brought his friend back from the dead and I prayed that God would I prayed that God would do the same for us hmm. I know I'm not deserving I prayed that if there's any chance that our baby could still be alive, that he would be. So Heather and I showed up to our appointment the next day and expected to 
see nothing. And as soon as the doctor placed the ultrasound, it was <laughs> instantaneous. <laughs> see a bright flash of the baby's heartbeat that we've never seen before. And Heather immediately praised Jesus. <laughs> and I didn't, uh, because I was such an awe, I was not expecting that. I eventually did, but we're so thankful for him. And I do believe that God does miracles. And I don't know why he chose to do one for us, because we're not deserving. We felt loss, and we feel blessing, and we just thank the Lord for that. And we hope that uh, what he's done in our life may be a blessing to other lives as well. Amen.